<laughs> okay, so good good morning, everybody. Or good afternoon to all of you. Um, yeah, so welcome to the training. And okay, right. So so appreciate the time that. So I hope that um, what do you call this? How do I get there? Yeah, I want to see everybody in one go. Here we go. Um, Gladys, is there any any announcement you'd like to make prior for to me starting off? Um, no, nothing. Okay, gotcha. <laughs> yeah, you're, yeah. All right. So, so today I'm gonna talk about something that should really excite everybody because once you figure this out, you'll realize the you realize the opportunity what of, of what this is, right? Uh, and if you're only doing this, you can always do more of this. And this works, I think, in all types of businesses, right? Okay. So this is a really good, how do I say this? Uh, you know, I, I don't want to spoil. I, I actually placed the training title in the slide and then I remove it because it's too telling to what I'm going to say. Okay. So let's, let's start. So my question to you is, if you can travel back in time, what advice will you tell your great, 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 great grandfather or mother? Uh, that would benefit you. I think that's the question. So let's, since there's only three of four of you, three of you here, like I'd like you to, to answer this question. Okay, let's start with uh, Shalom. <laughs> wow. Ah, yeah, yeah. This is this is this is kind we, of we call hard. this a we call this a Miss Universe type question. You know, these are the questions that that's get asked when you're a, in a pageant, Miss Universe. Pageant. No wonder I don't do those pageants. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs> Go ahead. Um, who's who's ready? So, well, well, you are asking. Oh, yeah, yeah. Let somebody else. If somebody can answer, I can be thinking about it because I've got so much I need to condense. Don't together. overthink. This is just for fun. Okay. Now, um, Mercy, would you like to answer this question? If you if you can travel back in time. What advice would you tell your great, 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 great grandfather or mother? Mercy, you can unmute yourself if you if you haven't done so. Okay, okay. I've read the question properly. I was getting stuck at what advice I would like them to give me, but it's what advice will I give them, right? What yes, advice will I give, tell them? You tell them. Yes. You tell them, do this, because it will enrich definitely me. Definitely to, to embrace change. Embrace change. Okay, good, good. Embrace change. I think that's what I would say. Awesome. That's a great answer. That is your turn. Because I think I'm a victim of rigidity. So I, I tell them to embrace change. Ah, I see. I see where, where that, that, that answer is coming from. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> awesome. Thank you. Gladys, mm. it's your turn. Um, I think I'll tell them to allow people to follow their path. Because okay. I think they're very rigid um, as to how people should be, where they would go. Just encourage people to follow your path. Awesome. All right. So I'm, I'm now starting to see a pattern here. And I'm, I'm feeling like this is a wrong icebreaker question for this class. <laughs> Mercy, would you like to, to take a shot at this? Um, you're muted. If, if not, you can you can kind of type in I can read your I can read your uh, answer let me just see if I can bring up that bring out the chat okay all right uh, I can try go ahead um I think for me it would be around uh, ask them to invest differently like what like uh, what with mercy the future. <laughs> well with the future in mind um Uh, like what invest in what if you can be more specific uh okay one i think invest spiritually so that, that becomes one a heritage that is part of investment and you know, just beyond um a farming right yeah and in their small locality maybe be a bit more adventurous uh yeah. Yeah. Awesome. 
thank you. Thank you for that. Nema, you like to take a shot at this question? So it's you giving an advice. So travel back in time, you go to your great, 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 great grandmother and father and say, hey, let me just give you an advice. Because in the future, I'm going to come up, right? And I want to make sure that when I go, <laughs> go out of this world, I'm going to have a better shot. So I'm going to give you this advice. Well, what is it, Nema, that, that, you're, that you think you can, what advice can you give to your great, great, great? And um, you can unmute yourself. Um, hmm, that is a very difficult question. <laughs> <laughs> this is just for fun. Don't take it too seriously, just for fun. Okay, uh, I think I would want them to have left um, a manual or at least just something written about how they dealt with life at different stages because I always believe there's uh, something we can learn even from uh, past generations because a human being does not change. So there are certain uh, things, and I guess because their life was also not cluttered with technology and you know a lot of things, uh, they lived a very simple life. So I think I would want to know how they really dealt with you know, the different challenges in life at the different stages, yeah. Okay, thank you, thank you. So <laughs> you have very noble answers, right? So, so if I'm gonna <laughs> if I'm gonna go back in time, I'm gonna answer this question, right? I'm gonna go back in time. I'm gonna tell my great 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 grandfather grandfather and mother, like, look, right now all this land here doesn't have titles, right? <laughs> I want you to create a huge fence and then claim the whole thing, because uh, that's gonna be my asset in the future. Um, so I don't know if that applies to you, but like, I was just always wishing like, you know, my, I hope my great, great, great somehow, um, was, was, um, like, I, I would say closer to what Mercy said, like, not just investing, but really, because there was no title back then, you know, with land, just create, like, just get like the biggest mountain and say like, you know, I'm going to put a fence around that mountain. <laughs> anyway, so, um, <laughs> Yeah, create a fence, create a, a huge fence so that like by the time I'm going to get born, I will have, uh, you know, maybe like a huge farm that I can sell or something like that. Um, the, the important, <laughs> that's why I said like, just have fun, guys. <laughs> like we're training, I'm trying, I'm trying to make this super light, but um, this is the important of, of all, the, all this, right? Asset, like we're talking about asset, right? We're talking about, like what are the different assets that, that we have like in business, in life? It's, it's really about this thing that you build, right? That what does asset give you, by the way? Like, what do you think? Ooh, like quick answer, don't overthink. What, what does asset give you? Comfort. Comfort is one, yes. Yeah, you feel, yeah, because I have, you know, I. But the other thing that the, the, the directly some asset can actually give you, like especially active asset, they give you returns, right? They give you security. Yeah, value and, and, and return. And so, so if, if you could go back in time and say to the point where maybe I could have, or maybe like if, like it's, it's a meme, there's a meme out there where you say, if you can go back in time, uh, what advice can you give to your younger self? That was, I was, thinking of doing um i was saying but and and i would have said buy as much bitcoin as you can right <laughs> so, <laughs> so you can have as much bitcoin as you can um today you can acquire and build digital assets right and again this is this is um applicable to all types of businesses right so your mind is a mind field it's an unlimited, infinite resource of digital asset, right? Okay, so um, it's if you you don't we cannot go back in time anymore. We cannot tell our great 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 grandfather like to to build as many fence and you know fence out all fence out you create a big fence so that you can get you can you can already kind of um claim your claim that asset right but today we have 
the same opportunity online. We have the same opportunity online because now we have the cap capability to create digital asset. We have now can build, you know, things that can be stored in some server somewhere from around the world that can make money, okay? How many of you know what I'm talking about? And if you know what I'm talking about, give me an example of a digital asset. Go. Um, Nema, do you like to give me a sample of a digital asset? Um, I don't know. I would say content that I've created, like videos. Right. Yeah. Content, video, tut tutorials, right? What else? What What are other digital assets that 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 that's out there? It doesn't necessarily something that you already own, but some other and you maybe other people owns. Um, I haven't quite understood how NFTs are working, but I hear those are digital assets. I don't know how. So for me, my answer would be the courses. Courses, yes, definitely. Those are digital assets, right? NFT mm -hmm. is a digital asset because it's actually an active way. It, it can store information and, and declare uniqueness of a specific, uh, a specific thing that you'll decide on. And uh, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to plug a little bit. I'm building an NFT music marketplace, so... Because I totally believe in what I'm <laughs> teaching right now. <laughs> I'm a hundred percent believer in what I'm teaching. So that's um, we're building we're building that marketplace. Um, so the idea is for for artists to come in, right? And they can instead of launching their product as an album or a regular album in Spotify, they can actually sell the the streaming rights as NFTs or as like images that represents a piece of ownership of the streaming of the streaming service. Oh, I'm sorry, a piece of ownership of the streaming royalty. So um, I'm, I'm going to talk more about that when once it's more tangible. But yeah, definitely. Courses, uh, courses uh, if you have a, an online course, that's a digital asset. What else? Uh, Mary... Mercy, Pastor Lillian, and Gladys. I'm going to wait for you guys. Gladys? Maybe she stepped out. So you can feel free to unmute yourself, okay, to answer this question. Um, Pastor Lillian, do you, do you, what, what, what do you think podcasts? Mercy said podcasts are definitely digital assets. Right. Um, what else, uh, Pastor Lillian? Do you, do you? Um, we're talking about digital asset. Can you think of an example of digital asset? Hello, everyone. Hello. Hello. Could we also be talking about some advertisement you put online? Um, advertisement would be would be a, mm -hmm. a, a digital asset but it's not an asset that you can sell but it does it's a digital it's a digital asset that probably would sell another like digital asset for example you can post an ad, ad um, I can post an ad but then it actually sells your courses okay that makes sense okay um, next so I ask you, and then I listed all of them. So an ebook is a digital asset. Guides, courses, video training materials. So for Pastor Lillian, since you're a pastor, you can even video record your sermon and you can sell the video recording and the audio recording. Now, how many of you have bought a sermon? Type one in the comment if you bought a sermon in your life. One. You have not. I've. I'll tell you. I. I tell. I'll tell you. I'm one. <laughs> I bought a sermon. 
This is not a very common thing, but I do buy sermon. Like there's a pastor that would sell his sermon and I really like that sermon. I'll buy it. And he's selling it for uh, around $15 per sermon. And it's like, it's crazy that I buy it. I, I can't believe I'm, I, I'm, I'm still supporting that ministry. Um, I'm paying I'm paying $20 a month just to have access to a sermon that's not available online. <laughs> so it's kind of weird. Um, but yeah, templates, music, beat, audio meditation, website templates, sales pages, challenges. Oops, it, there's challenges there. Summit recording, software, cheat sheets, and many more. So you can just imagine, guys, how many of you have at least one of these? How many of you have at least one of these? Or type one in the comment. Like type one in the comment. What it like? I, I Shalom. What? Which one do you have right now? Ah, you're muted. I have the ebook. I have courses. I've got um, I've got a sales page, and I've got some cheat sheets. Right. By the way, when I yeah. when I say sales page, these are sales page that you can sell. So so when we define asset, digital asset, to somebody asset, else. Yes, these are assets okay, that you can sell. Right. Okay. Strike that out. Yes. Yeah. I've got the ebook, the courses, and the cheat sheets. Good, thank you. Uh, Mary, what, what do you have? I have the courses. I have a course. Good. Uh, Gladys, what do you have? Um, I have an ebook. I have guides. I have templates. I have music. I have audio meditations. And you're selling, you're selling, yeah. this. You're selling this, correct? I think selling. You're selling. Oh no, I thought no, no, no. Sorry, I'm selling guides. Yes, on yeah. etiquette. So these are yeah. these are things that you're selling. Okay. Uh, oh, but, selling. But, I thought it's just what we have. You have, sorry, okay. but you have for sale. Yeah. So sorry oh, about for that. Sale. Yeah. Sorry, I have number two. I have guides on etiquette, and right. I have. Um. Actually, that's basically it. I'm not selling anything. Awesome. So there's still a lot of room for, you know, more. Digital asset creation. Uh, how about you, Nema? What do you have? Nema, you're muted. Hi, so just uh, in case. Sorry. Oh. Um, I, I thought it was what I have purchased, not what I am selling. So okay. I don't have anything I'm selling at the moment. All right. So then, like, you're my target market. <laughs> so quick ways on how to build one. How to build a digital asset? So simple, guys. So just take a look at your business, right? Take a look at your business and then ask yourself, what can I digitize here? Take a look at your business and what can you digitize to, in, in your business, right? And then digitize it and sell it. Okay. The next one is, what can you talk about all day for free? What can you talk about all day for free? Record it on a video and then sell it. Third, look for a problem. Is there a way it can be fixed? And if yes, if the answer is yes, either create a book, an ebook, a guide, a cheat sheet, a course, so on and so forth. Next, interview people. Then record and sell. Depends, right? So, so for example, um, if you can interview the top three billionaires in Kenya, if you can interview the top three billionaires in Kenya and they will say, yes, I'm going to have this interview and yes, you can sell this. Whatever you, you can have them sign, whatever, you know, <laughs> whatever you need to do for, you know, whatever you're going to do, that's all, already, you know, your, your, your IP. Then do you think it's valuable to some people in Kenya? 
Yes, you think it's valuable? I, I think it's valuable, right? It's getting insights from people who basically, you know, um, who excelled. And hopefully they came from, they have a rags to riches story. <laughs> it's very hard to, to make, to interview someone who has already, you know, who, is, who just inherited, you know, a, uh, a lot of money. Next, ask your client, what are the three things they, they struggle the most? What are the three things they struggle the most? Build a solution, digitize, and sell. And these are just like few things and, and what you can do. And the, the, the thing is, just look at this within your sphere of influence, and you can already digitize some of these and, and sell. Okay. Steps for the online course. So simple. <laughs> so first, focus on one topic. How many of you put five, put five in the comment? How many of you are thinking, maybe I should, just like at one point of your life, you should, maybe I should have an online course. Like put five in the comment section so I know if this is for you. Okay. Um, so Mary said, yes, definitely. I have a course. And I, you know, have a, you have a course, right? So Gladys said, maybe I should have a course. Yes, definitely. Uh, Shalom already has course, but maybe won't another set of courses, right? Um, so, so here it is. Focus on one topic and preferably small enough to be accomplished with no or less friction, right? When I say friction, it means um, it means I have to buy this, I have to buy that, and I have to go there, and I have to travel, I have to spend a lot of money, and I need to get my hair done, and I need to have my, you know, whatever it is. Like the, the, the smallest path, you know. Um, just focus on one topic and then the, find the shortest, the easiest. I, we call this the low, low hanging fruit. A lot of people, let me tell you a little bit of a secret. A lot of people struggle because when they envision something, they see uh, a complete product or service that they can't ever, they can't create at the moment. And so people struggle with that because it's, it's, it's just analysis paralysis. And the key, and the key solution for, an, for analysis paralysis is look at, ask yourself, what's the low hanging fruit? What's a slam dunk when it comes to me building the course, me building a digital asset. So for example, if you say, oh, I'm going to build an ebook, I'm, I'm going to build, I'm going to write a book and I'm going to sell the ebook, right? And then you start creating the, the topic and then, as, then you, you have a, a, a framework, you have an outline and you started writing, right? And you realize like after writing the first page, you realize like, my goodness, this is going to be a thousand pages long. And because you're now thinking that it's, a, it's going to be a thousand pages long, you decide to scrap the whole project, right? I don't know if you have, you have been in that path, but, but the reality is instead of thinking that way, going back to the low hanging fruit principle, fruit, low hanging fruit principle, uh, it is to focus on like, okay, what can I easily deliver? Okay. Then define the problem, map the framework of your solution. So, um, for example, for example, um, you want to build an online course on, like, let's let's take um, like for example for a nonprofit, right? You can say, okay, what I can I can write an ebook on, on how to uh, build a nonprofit, right? Or you can, so step one, step two, step three. And, and the, key, the key thing here is like, don't have, don't put too, like you have to be comfortable that you, there are times that you can only discuss a certain topic at, at some high level, not so much on the integrity, right? Um, say for example, like, um, in that case, you just, just look at the framework. How did I set up the business, right? Or fundraising. Yes, right, Jane Betty. Like, how do I raise funds for a nonprofit, 
right? How do I raise funds for nonprofit, right? What's a organic way, organic way of organic marketing to fundraising, something like that. So step one, you know, build a Facebook profile. Step two, build a LinkedIn profile. <laughs> so, so it's a simple, you know, just kind of deal with it in a simple way. You map your framework. How did you end up um, building the business? So, so, um, and then obviously, like the last one would be the ship shipping. Um, hmm. Okay. So here's pricing, right? And this is something that you can you can start doing. So if you're not confident of selling a digital asset, you can start start at level one, right? You can create any digital asset and sell it for a dollar. But by the way, if you're selling it for a dollar, it should be super, it should be a hundred times more valuable than a dollar. Does that make sense? It should be worth a hundred dollars. Does that make sense? Like don't, just because you're selling it for a dollar, it doesn't mean it should be worthless. That makes sense? How many of you understood what I just said and, and why it's important? Do you want to know why it's important? No? Okay, let me move to, let me move to, to the next point. Okay, so. Hi, Joe. Uh, I mean, yeah, well, it would please explain why it should be worth more. Is it so that the, because you use it sort of like a, um, what do you call it? Well, lack of a better word, better word, bait, so that you get the customer in and then you sell something more valuable at a higher price? No, because you always over-deliver, Nima. The way to keep business going is to always over-deliver. This is the way you can get in front. You can, you can over outperform the competition, right? To, for people to receive this product, because it's a digital product, right? For people to receive this, they should feel like, my goodness, I only pay for a dollar, but this one, I'm reading this, I'm joining this, my goodness, it's more done. It's a hundred times more than this, right? Right. And and I would don't like the idea of bait, but that has the same kind of effect. But the thing is, the next time around, Emma. When you go to level two and you sell seven dollar product, those people who bought the one dollar, they're thinking, my goodness, if it's like at one dollar, it's worth a hundred times more than the ne the next seven dollars, probably worth a hundred times more. It's a no brainer for them to make this decision. Remember, it's easier to sell to an exist always easier to sell to an existing customer than acquiring a new customer and sell to that person. Okay, so. But you, if you look at this, the easiest path, talking about low-hanging fruit, okay? Because I want you to not think about, so Joe, you know, I have to study, I have to, you know, do a lot of things. Look at your business. I want you to ask yourself, like, what can I build here that's worth a lot of money, but I can digitize it and I can sell at a dollar, right? <laughs> And then build one, build another one that's worth $7. Build another one that's worth $27. Build another one that's worth $47, $97, $197, 297 right? $497, $1,000. You know, a lot of, they, some people, they build products that, that's up to even tens, tens of thousands, right? But, but for, the reason why I place this, I peg the lowest one at $1 is because for some people, they have a hard time grasping this idea that they can sell digital products, right? So I'm making it easy for you to, to imagine. Now, let's do some math, math, okay? So if you have a $1 product and 100 people buy it. 100 buys is $100, right? For $7, it's $700. 27, 2,700, 47. So if you build nine digital assets, right? You're 
potential potential sales at 100 buys is 216,000 US. Um, that you might saying like, but Joe, where can I find 100 people that buys my 997? <laughs> Do you have questions like that? Does that pop up in your mind? Like, where can I find that, right? Um, you obviously need to start level one, level two, and level three because you're learning how to, to do that. Learning how to, because you know what? Here's, what, here's, my, here's my realization. Um, when I started, I charge, I charge for a lot of work. Um, like for, I, I even started like with pay whatever, right? Pay whatever. And then I, I started pay whatever. And then the first person who paid me was like, he paid like $250. It's like, like, can I pay you $250? And I said, yes. And the next person who asked me, I said, she said like, hey, so you build this and that? I said, yes. And, he's, and she said, how much do you charge? And I said, it's $250. But the thing is what happened was, what happened is I built on that, on that um, I built those at that price, but that price I decided to stretch to the next level. I said like, okay, so from 250, can I actually charge 350? From 350, can I charge 450? From 450, can I charge 550, right? But the other thing that I did was like, okay, I'm actually building this, but can I, can I create a template that people will actually just buy for a dollar or $2 or $5, right? Can I create a software or can I, you know, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like what, what I, what I want to realize from this is not, is not, it is the idea that regardless of where you start, if you hit a hundred buys, whatever it is, it's, it's going to impact. It has a, some impact to you financially. Do you agree? Like wherever you start, right? If you start from a dollar or $7, $7 or even 997, if you get that one buy, it you get that hundred buys, like it will impact you. Um, it will, it will have an impact. Okay. Um, so the other thing that I would like you to, to realize is like, let's say if your goal is $1,000, right? If your goal is $1,000, um, what, what product, what, how much is the pricing level that you'll be focused on so that you can reach $1,000 right away? Right. So for example, if your goal is $1,000, you can create a 997 product. And if one person buys that, you're already, you're already a success, right? <laughs> if your goal is $1,000. If your goal is $1,000 and you build two of this and you sell two of this, you're very, very close to your success, right? If you, build, if you have $1,000 and you sell one, one and seven, you just need five buyers. So what I'm saying is this is the power of digital asset. The power of digital asset is that one, um, you don't, once you build something, you don't have to build it again for another person. Compare that to coaching, right? When you're coaching someone, right, for an hour, if you're coaching someone for an hour and then another client comes, it's still going to be you who's going to be facing that client for an hour for the same amount of money. Right? I'm not saying don't coach. I'm not saying, you know, don't do counseling, guys. <laughs> Just build digital products. That's not, what, that's not the message here. The message here is while you're counseling, guys, while you're coaching, while you're doing your thing, build a digital product. Right? And again, it doesn't have to be separate from your business. It doesn't have to be separate from your day-to-day. -day, right? For example, um, if you're selling insurance, what digital product, Mercy, can you build that you can sell? 
related to the insurance business, right? That's that's a that's an open question. Okay. Do you have any question from this? How many? How many felt like my goodness? You're saying how many feel? How many have you have this reaction? My goodness, are you saying, Joe, that I can do this and potentially I will? Like, how many of you got excited, and how many of you were like, "Is it possible? Is it really possible? You're, are you making this super easy, Joe? But then, real in reality, this is gonna be super hard." <laughs> uh, are you talking to yourself, Joe? <laughs> um, yes, Mary. Uh, Mary, you're raising your hand. No, no, no. I'm just reacting to which one. Which one are uh, you? Are you? Are you? Are you? <laughs> I'm excited. I'm excited, definitely about um, uh, being able to 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 sell, um, being able to build a platform that continues to sell and continues to give, even if you you are held up, you're you're, you're sick in bed, you're you know anything could happen, but still there is some income that will be coming in. Yeah. And, and this can be on top of whatever your offer is, right? This can be, I mean, this will not conflict. This will not conflict your, what, your, what your current offer. So that's, that's a really good point, right, uh, Mary, where you say, you know what? I can make sales even though I'm not here, right? And that's the other advantage of this. If you build a digital product, you just want to make sure that they can buy they can give you the payment and then you can release that, that digital product for that person. So a lot of people, a lot of people are so concerned about pirate their product being, being copied and pirated. How many of you have that concern? I, I don't want my product to be pirated and copied. Yeah, you have? Yeah. Okay, so I'm gonna tell you something. If you're not that popular, if you're not a star in the industry, consider being copied as an honor. <laughs> because, right, here's the thing. Um, it is, yeah, consider it an honor that someone is st stealing your stuff. Someone is stealing your digital asset, right? Consider that like, my goodness, I'm, I'm, is, is my staff so, is my work so valuable that it will be pirated? Um, right? Or, or someone's going to steal that. So consider that. Adapt that mindset. The other thing is, how many of you have, I'm going to turn off the recording. How many of you have illegal copies of a digital asset? Or have done done something. <laughs> Don't raise your hand. Don't raise your hand. <laughs> because I think at some point, in one way or another, you have access to something that's copied online that you didn't pay for, right? Most likely, you have access to them. No, don't raise your hand, guys. Please put your hand down because this is recorded. <laughs> Just kidding. But here's the thing. How, do you see your attitude towards copied items, copied uh, assets? You don't, most of the time, you don't have motivation to go through them and actually read them or listen to them or, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Like most of the time, because it's copied and you know where, 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 where it says that in the scripture where, where your heart is, there your treasure will be also. That is true with your digital asset. When people pay for your digital asset, they will most likely try to get as much as they can out of it. When people don't pay for it, most likely they will not honor it enough to go through it and actually learn from it. And if, like, consider the, consider the best case scenario. And if they go through it and they learn something from it and they prospered before, because of it, and they come to you and say, hey, Mary, you know that ebook that you've written down that you sold, you tried to sell for a hundred dollars for fifty dollars. I got a copy of it, and I applied the principle, Mary, 
And now look at me, I'm an ultra success. <laughs> Isn't that a really good news that someone out there stole you know, your digital asset and actually, um, and actually made something out of it? And isn't that a really good and isn't that a really good story to tell to your future clients? <laughs> that someone out there became ultra so. rich. Right? <laughs> I don't think so, unless you're actually getting rich out of your own product. I can imagine if you're struggling to sell, which is what I like about you saying, if you believe in your product enough, you should also be using it yourself. Right. If somebody else is going to get rich out of your advice and you're not rich yourself, then definitely that's a problem. not a good that, That's a problem, right? <laughs> but what I'm, saying, what, what I'm saying is, Shalom, is this. If, someone, if you're successful and then someone out there would come to you and say, hey, Shalom, uh, you know what? That, that, um, that book you've, you've written down and you sold it and I, I pirated it because maybe I could not afford it back then. And then, you know what? It really helped fix my relationship it saved me from like i don't know whatever something and now i'm super successful and you can even use that story and say to your customers like guys this book was pirated by someone and now look at him or look at her right so pay for it <laughs> so so i'm saying it's like this the other thing the other thing that i'd like you to look at this is like you can start anywhere. You can start at whatever level, right? And you can, the good thing about this is this, if once you have a digital asset, is that it's not bound by territories. It not, it's not bound by the like delivery. Like, I don't know. I don't know about you in, in, in Kenya, but in the Philippines, you know, someone would send me a package and I would potentially, there's a huge chance that I'm not going to receive it. So, because the mailing the mailing service here is not is, is not you know it's it's, re, it's bad <laughs> so uh, there's a huge chance that i'll not be able to receive that um so with with digital assets you can deliver it online okay okay here we go here's the question next question what digital asset can you build in a week and i want everybody in this call to answer to answer this question, what digital asset can you build in a week? Let's start with let's start with a person who has not spoken yet. Njoki. Njoki. So I saw you coming up. Um, I'd like to hear your voice. I'm actually trying to catch up with everybody. <laughs> uh, you're still catching up. Okay, I'm gonna get to you I'm next. Even trying to okay. I'll... Okay. Uh, let's go with Jane Betty. Jane, you can chat. You can send a chat, Jane, if you're not able to speak. Um, okay, let's go with uh, with Pastor Lillian. Pastor Lillian, what do you think is a digital asset that you can build in a week? Are you Are you there? Yep. Okay. She's there. Yes. I think I can build a, a podcast. A podcast in a week, right? One episode. Yeah. Could I build a podcast? I'm saying a podcast. Podcast. Yeah. Okay. Cool. Uh, it's about what? Podcast on what? Just teachings, biblical teachings. Okay. Biblical teaching podcast. What is what what's it's what is called, uh, Pastor Lillian? I want, I want to learn how to build one. So, are you? Do you have a? Okay. Do you, here, here's so I I I happen to I happen to have hosted a, on a podcast. Uh, my 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 question is, are you? Do you think in a week you can record? And then publish it in like in in like in the streaming platforms. No, I'm learning, Joe. I'm still learning from you. 
<laughs> no, no, something that you can already deliver, Pastor Lillian. What is it? What digital asset can you build in a week without with zero or less okay. friction? Okay, I'm following you. I'm still learning. Still learning. Okay. I want you to, when you answer, the, so the next people who will answer this question, I want you to answer me something that you already have, okay? That, that you can easily, remember the low-hanging fruit? Low-hanging fruit. I want, think, let's think about result. So this is what you'll learn more about me. I want, like, I want to be able to perceive what's the physical thing that will be delivered right away, okay? So it's, it's really about result. Okay, let, let's, let's move to, to Mary. Mary. What, what digital asset do you think you can build in a week? Um, I think I can do an ebook. In a week? Yeah, something that's already existing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, okay, that, that works. So if you, you already have an existing, uh, what do you call this? You can make yeah. it an ebook. You can make it an ebook. Perfect, perfect. Wow, that's good. How much are you going to sell it for? I'm kind of feeling like um, maybe $5. Okay, good, good, good. That, yeah. There we go, there we go. Jane Betty said she'll be selling recipes. See, guys, that's, <laughs> that's really cool, right? Um, next, um, who's that? Gladys. Gladys? Sorry, I was muted. <laughs> in a week, um, I'm thinking maybe a video or um, a video in what? A presentation. A video which I'm actually working in on. It's a video on um, style and elegance. Okay. And what I'm doing is interviewing different people, some, um, um, how would I call it, some very famous people and people in the village and men basically a different variety of people on what they understand by style and elegance. So you think you can do yeah, that so in that a week? kind of video. Sorry? You, can, you think you can do that in a week? Um, I guess if I put, yeah, now I have the time. I can do it in a week because I have um, quite a number of interviews already, videos of people telling me what they think of elegance. I already have quite a number. Awesome. All so right. It's just a matter of compiling it. Okay. Sounds good. How about you, Nema? Wow. This is a very hard question for me. Um, I guess because of the space I am in, uh, I think, hmm, what can I do in a week? Um, unless I create um, some merchandise related to learning. Um, uh, I don't know. I need to think about this a bit more. Um, so yeah, I think I need to think through this a bit more. I'll, 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 I'll help you a little bit. So what's the, what mm -hmm. are the, can you give me a title of the best-selling books that you've, um, best-selling books that you're selling? The Very Hungry Caterpillar. Okay. Um, how, how like in terms of number of books do you sell in a month from that like how, how many books are we talking about oh no those I get uh, okay I don't get like many copies but they're the first to go when I get them maybe like 10 copies or more because I get like a variety of right. very many different books um, yeah so or maybe like Diary of a Wimpy Kid yeah okay um, yeah. All right. Okay. So, so, so if you, my, my thinking is this, if you, if mm -hmm. you have a best-selling book, you can mm -hmm. reach out to the author and say, mm -hmm. Hey, like, can we have a recorded zoom call? I'd like to interview you because your, your book is actually one of the best sellers um, that mm -hmm. I'm selling to my, and so now you have an interview that goes along with a book that you can sell for whatever price range. So people who would mm -hmm. say, um, yeah, this is a best-selling book. And you can even sell that. You can even sell an accompanying interview, right? You can mm -hmm. even sell it. And now you, you don't, how many, how, you can also not sell it. You can add it as an add-on for, well, mm -hmm. as mm -hmm. a package, but the price of the book goes higher, a little bit higher, 
if you know what I mean, right? So I, I'm sure, like, yeah. so like inspiration of you know the character, like who is this book for? How, why did you write it? Mm-hmm. So now it adds dynamic to the the artwork, right? Um, mm-hmm. I don't know if you have this um, in 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 Kenya, but like one of the artists in, in local artists that I admire here in the Philippines, the he would sing songs, but before he would sing uh-huh. that song, he would say something that 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 why this song speaks to him in a kind of a deeper way. And to me, like listening to those type of talks about the song um, mm. made me more appreciate the artist and more the artwork, which is either in a song or in a book form. So so the, the accompanying, so you can create like a package and you can create, so I'm, what I'm saying is like, it, it's an easy 30 minute conversation where you hit the Zoom call mm. and the record button. And then it does add to, uh, a digital, a digital, um, what do you call this? Uh, something digital to what you're already doing, right? Because you're selling physical mm. books, right? But then yes. if you think about the experience, right? If you think about the experience, mm. not just the book, the book is one, mm-hmm. one experience. The, but what if you give a digital experience and then you can add, and, 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 and I know like you're, you're in distribution side, but you can actually mm-hmm. empower, you know, even the, your distributors, the people, the, the shops who, who buys from you to actually to mm-hmm. have that, right? Um, mm-hmm. that, that makes sense. Anyway, uh, Mercy, your turn. Mercy? Oh, sorry. My network is a bit off, so I didn't quite hear. So I was thinking around, um, I guess my uh, book, books, I uh, get that now in digital form. There we go. Yeah, there we go. Yeah. Um, how much are you selling it for? In, in, in hard copy and how much is going to be the, the digital side uh, book? Uh, okay, so I think it's rough fish. Sorry. Mercy, sorry. What, what was it? Oh, I was saying it's around it's around ten dollars. Okay, that's around the physical 10 book. To Twelve dollars. Mm-hmm. Yeah, that's the physical book. Yeah. Mm-hmm. What, so if you're gonna sell a digital version of that, what 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 would it look like? Uh, how much would it cost? Uh, maybe seven to eight. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. So so that's good. That's good. You you start working that, and then the other thing that I'd like to share with you before we go to Shalom is that a content that is packaged or delivered differently. Um, so for example, if you have a book and you read the whole book, it becomes an audio book, right? So it becomes a two different digital product, right? If you have a book mm-hmm. and then you have a video, mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. right? It's another digital product, right? If you have, if you have a book, but you convert it into a like story type, like portion of it, it's con- convert it convert it to a mini movie that's another digital if you have a a video and then you run it in a software where it translates if you have a video you run it in a software that it trans, that can converts your words into text a video to text software you can actually sell that text uh, together with your video that makes sense right so you can create an ebook from your video Right. So the other thing Thanks is for that, yeah. the other thing is this. Um, anyway, um, let's go to Shalom first and then I'll, 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 I'll talk about that, my other point. Go for it, Shalom. You just helped me out. I think I can actually do an audio book of my book. <laughs> yeah, audio book, right? Because, because I can do an audio book of my book in a week, but I had sort of a guide. Yeah. Awesome. It's also right. good to do guide in a week, yeah. The, the other thing for those who are, of you are, are planning to write an ebook, my if you're if you only have a week 
I suggest you do a video and talk and and teach in a video because it's easier to complete you know a whole set with with you speaking and for some of you it's going to be awkward when you're talking in front of a camera and you're teaching so you might want to bring you know another person in and where it becomes a conversation rather than like one person talking um so that's that's kind of the dynamic um so what i'm saying is remember this idea of low hanging fruit when i say low hanging fruit it's less or zero friction to whatever you already have so what i was going to say to pastor lilian is pastor lilian if you only have a week and you're preaching this sunday make sure you hit the record button while you're preaching and then that's going to be your first digital asset if you haven't done so okay um all right so uh okay so, so the challenge is the challenge is um and i don't know what i'm gonna give for a price i'll try to give something a digital asset to some what to any one of you who will finish your digital asset before wednesday next week i'm gonna think of what what prizes is, is it gonna be but like any digital asset that you will be selling before Wednesday next week. Okay, so everybody here has answered the question. Uh, and so that's going to be the, the, I'm going to give a price. I don't know what it is yet. So for sure, but for sure, it's a digital asset that you can use. Um, key, key takeaways before we, we finish, right? One is focus on one idea and build a digital product. Find a customer and then offer that. Do the math. When I say do the math is if you put a price range, multiply it to 100, and hopefully you can like get, sell it to 100 people and then see how much money you can generate from it. And then you can scale or add more digital assets. Um, David was teaching us um, in the previous classes about the different ways to, we, we call it offer stack. You can actually do the same thing with digital assets. The important thing here, and this is the reason why I'm going to give a prize for some from for, for all of you who have, will finish next week, is because I want you to have this idea of shipping. I want you to ship. I don't want you to think about we're being trained, right? I want you to start thinking, okay, what digital asset can I add to my product line? Okay. Because once you get into the motion, I really believe that. This will add more to your revenue um, this year, 2020, 2022. This will add more to your revenue. And if you find the right people to buy your digital asset, my goodness, like it can scale really, really quickly. And if it doesn't work, take my last advice here. The last part of takeaway is always be patient. Be patient. You're still learning the ropes. But the important thing here is for this training, is that all of you guys here will be able to build your own digital asset and that will elevate your status compared to the competition because the competition will always be just relying on um, their one-to-one -one energy, their one-to-one their, their -one coaching session without adding all these things. Um, and then this is something that's scalable. Like I said at the very beginning, if those of you who have missed the first part, uh, please do a, a quick review at the very beginning. Like I said at the very beginning, you know, if you can tell your great, great, great grandfather to acquire, if I, if I were to give an advice to my great, great grandfather, I would tell them to acquire as many assets as possible um, right now year 2022 acquire as much acquire or create as much digital asset for your your business because this is something that you can transfer you know to the next generation um a guy i don't know if you know a guy by the name of zig ziglar um he's no longer with us but his digital asset is still for sale in audible uh a lot of people still buy his ebook you know, he's still inspiring generations of future entrepreneurs and future leaders. And so this is the power 
of not just making money but also making an impact you know just beyond someone's lifetime okay um i'm gonna open the next five minutes for questions and uh yeah that starts now If you don't have any question, we can we can all go. <laughs> uh, Joe, I think for me, just uh, comments. Uh, thank you for this. I think for me, it's really just gotten me um, just really thinking about how else can I, what other value can I add to my products? How can I differentiate myself in the market? Because now everybody wants to sell books, books, books. So, you know, if a customer is coming to me, what else am I am I putting on the table? Um, I must say, I'm one of those people who you said, you know, when you think of an idea, you see the finished product first and therefore you get stuck in um, analysis paralysis. So I hope this will be my first step out of analysis paralysis. <laughs> yeah, that's, that's the plan, yeah. right? To, to pull as many people from analysis paralysis yes. to actually like doing something right yeah so thank you for that yeah anyone else comment um question violent reaction like if you feel like this is not valuable at all like please let me know so i can change my my next topic <laughs> i think i think it's very valuable and like Nema is saying it is a challenge you know, and I don't mean a challenge in terms of difficult as much as a challenge in terms of making what we are doing practical. Because I think if, if we can crack this, we'll be heading the right direction. So on a light note, I'm going to go, Nema likes talking a lot. So I'll go with a recorder, ask her a few questions, have her answer them. Then I'll give her the right to sell that information and get a commission out of it because she's got loads of advice. That's good. For parents from the she sells, yeah. There we go. <laughs> Yay! Thank you, Shalom. <laughs> there we go. There we go. Yeah, you can you can do these types of collaboration, and I didn't even thought about that. But that yes, definitely you can reach out. You know, kind of cross develop the product, right? And and yeah, mm -hmm. I'm and that, that I didn't realize that 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 yeah, that, that's a good that's a good point, Shalom. Um, who else like to to share a comment? Um, I think it was very inspiring. Um, it's like we can do it if we really want to. It's not that difficult if you put your head and heart into it. I, I, very inspiring. Um, I feel like I'm ready and running to go because. You made it sound so simple, so, so simple. And Shalom's example is so simple, you know, just go and record Nema and, you know, I mean, that's something that's so doable, I think by, by everybody in this group. So thank you. You're welcome. Let me just tell you something. Once you start, if you haven't done this and you start doing it for some of you or for all of you, I don't know, like it will, a voice will come to your head and say, who in the world are you? And why are you doing this? And this is, and like some kind of conversation we're saying like, and this is not even worth a dollar, <laughs> much more $5, right? That, that's going to be a conversation that you're going to have to wrestle with. But let me just, and the reason why I'm telling you this is because everybody who have stepped out from their comfort zone and into the light has that kind of conversation in their head. And those who were able to manage that conversation and say, look, I don't, it doesn't matter. I will adopt this idea of I'm going to ship. I'm going to do this. And I'm going to try to see what, 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 where this leads. Right. Um, those though that's a differentiating factor so for for some of you might be thinking like you know are the words that i say even worth something right um what i i will say is this what you appreciate appreciates 
<laughs> right? What you appreciate appreciates. Uh, try to <laughs> meditate on that because sometimes you don't appreciate your own work and your own words and your own gifting and your own knowledge. And so therefore, there's no appreciation or price that you will put on that digital asset that you'll be creating. So try to appreciate yourself so that whatever you're going to do, it's going to be of value, not just to other people, but especially to you. Okay? Right. What else? What else? Mercy, you guys say something? Uh, yes. Okay. For me, is, uh, is, uh, when I comment, I mean, this is really awesome. It's very mind uh, and eye opening. So my, my question, so just tips on, you know, what, uh, I think what, what, what medium would be best that you use say for the podcast or even the audio book? Yeah. So how do you present it? Yeah. So, what so format on what platform. Right. Um, I, I need you to research on the fastest way you can. So if it doesn't matter at this point, how are you going to deliver like an audio book to your customer? It doesn't matter. If it's a Google Drive, sell it in a Google Drive. Does it make sense, Mercy? Don't think about, oh, I'm going to learn this. Oh, I'm going to learn Audible. I'm going to learn like other. It, it, at this point, it's just a matter of try to do enough research on where you can launch this and figure out how you can get, get paid. Right? That, then, because I want you to start doing this to the deadline. So I know you're all busy, right? <laughs> I'm going to add more workload. <laughs> you're all busy. I'm going to add more workload too. The deadline is going to be Tuesday next week, not Wednesday, right? The deadline is going to be Tuesday. So that's why you need to be creative on how you're going to launch this. You cannot think in terms of how complex the, the, the deployment will be. It's going to be, what's the awkward? It's going to be awkward. <clears throat> it's going to be you saying, oh, it's just in a Google Drive somewhere. It's just going to be in a, it's going to be in a, drop back somewhere right that you can download and then once you get once you have that ready right once you have that ready now you can now um look for after a week you can now look for like what's the best medium in terms of audio so for example podcast you can't make money with podcast right away how many of you know that like when you have a podcast you're basically giving your stuff for free that's not the point that this is not it we're looking for something that you can actually sell. Does that make sense? We're looking for something that you can sell for a dollar, for seven dollars. That's the reason why we have a pricing slide, so that I can, so that now you can say like, you know what? I'm gonna start wherever I want to start, right? Um, but there has to be a price, price point. Did I answer your question? First question, Mercy. I don't, the answer is, I don't have, I don't know what's going to be the medium in terms of podcast or audiobook, but what I do know is you can deliver it in, in, in a Google Drive or Dropbox. You, you can call a hundred no. of your friends and say, hey, I have this excellent, excellent audiobook on how to get your first million, right? How to get your first million shillings. I don't know how, is it? Is it big? A million shilling, is it a big money? Because <laughs> a million peso is a big money to us. So, <laughs> so, so it's like, how to get your first million in 90 days and actually walk through it. I have a framework. I, I, I spoke about it for 45 minutes. It's very detailed, granular, and I have worksheets to go with it. And I'm selling it for $10, right? If you have, you call a hundred friends and say, "Hey, like, do you like this?" <laughs> and then, yeah, I think you're gonna sell. Maybe five for five or at least five people will say, "I'm gonna give it a try." <laughs> I'm gonna give it a try. Okay. All right. 
Any any other comment? Get Just to thank you for this, Joe. It's really um, it's an inspiration. It's a call to to action, and um, I think it's the it's the high time. So gr very grateful for for it. Yes. So so this is so if you haven't noticed every single thing I'm sharing it's always geared towards action like it's always geared about producing something that that that's valuable and so next week um i'm going to i'm i'm going to follow a path called which is called a zero to ceo path like so for for some for some people it's a struggle um this is a preview so for some people it's a struggle for them to be real CEOs of their of their organizations, right? Uh, and the reason, and there are many reasons for that. But but like we can walk the path of level different levels of like really managing your business and really you know hiring people and on what to do with training. So I'm, we're not gonna be able to cover that in one go, but I'm gonna touch a little bit of that so that once you have your digital asset, right? You can even hire someone, you know, to edit for you just within your, or maybe like the whole team here can hire one person to do the editing, right? So, um, but but this is a, it's called a zero to CEO model that I'm gonna share to you so that we can all be like CEOs. So what what we're really doing now, uh, moving forward is one, um, if you look at your path, the path is like ideation. The second path would be creating digital assets so that it can add more to your um, revenue, right? And then two is basically scaling. Like we can scale whatever you have right now. So, uh, th sorry, three. So that's that's going to be for next Wednesday. And yeah, um, again, uh, really appreciate the, the engagement. Um, and I'm going to see you next week then, okay? Uh, for those who are who wants to re review this, this will be in, in YouTube. Uh, don't worry, it will be uh, unlisted. So it will not be unlisted for now. <laughs> it will be public in the future, but unlisted just for our kind of, um, for, for, for people in ACE, okay? Uh, all right, I guess that's it. Thank you so much for being here. Really appreciate everybody. Bye. Thank you. Bye. Thanks, Joe. Bye. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. You're welcome. Bye. Thank you. Bye, everybody.